certainly proud of the way everybody responded at halftime and came out and played in the second half. I thought our defense did a great job of uh, providing us with some really good field position and some turnovers. Uh, and then at the end of the game, holding firm, you know, on uh, fourth and five. So uh, good win. We've got to move on. Um, enjoy it tonight, but move on. We've got a short week. We've got to get back to work. So with that, I'll open it up to questions. Could you talk about uh, uh, Jack Quiz's wheel route and what you all saw to make that play work? Yeah, that, that was um, got you you know, something we talked about during the week. Um, we, we knew that when we kind of rolled out of the pocket, sometimes they uh, lost touch with the running back. And to be honest with you, uh, they, they covered it pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they had the, the linebacker back there pretty deep. But Quest did a great job of, of just running to that spot, uh, creating separation, and I just tried to put it up out there for him to catch. And mm -hmm. He made a great play. For and how about Julio? He kept going back to him. He had a couple, you know, tough plays early, and you stayed with him, stayed with him, and ended up paying off for you guys. Absolutely. You know, I, I think that was, um, you know, that's something that was important for us with all our guys. Uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta stick with them, and, and we had some opportunities in the first half, and, and we just. We didn't make those plays in the end zone, uh, mm -hmm. but Julio certainly had an unbelievable second half. I think the touchdown he he made on the kind of corner route um, where he caught it and then was able to extend the ball into the end zone and then the end cut that he caught, mm -hmm. um, he's a special player. Mm -hmm. Was that a skinny yeah. post or would you call it an end cut? What we call it an end cut. cut. It's a okay. deep route, um, but he, he just he ran a great route and uh, did a great job after he had the ball in his hand. It's a game like this of potentially a season game. I mean, you lose this and you're down to seven and six. It's mm -hmm. not the playoffs. But... You know what? Uh, the way I think everybody approached it, the way I approached it, uh, was it was the first of four legs. And uh, we, we knocked that first one out, and now we've got to move on. So, uh, regardless of, of what we thought coming in, doesn't doesn't really make a difference. We were able to kind of pull it out and uh, move on. And uh, so, for that, I'm, I'm happy. Is it understandable that some people come out of this game still a little confused about your team after the two halves of football you played? I th that's the NFL. I mean, the NFL is confusing. It's uh, you know week to week you're playing against a very good football team. So, however people view us, doesn't really matter. Wins a win, and uh, we'll move on. Hey, you. Uh, there was a whole bunch of talk about explosive plays and and so forth and so forth. We. Uh, but you got a couple with the, the, the quiz play and, and Julio's today. Was yeah, I think uh, all year we've, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think we've certainly made strides in, in that department. We've been able to make some of those plays that, that we've wanted to make. And I think the addition of, of those two rookies, Jeff Quez and, and Julio, has certainly uh, helped in that respect. On the safety, did you, were they, your receivers covered and you had to hold it a little longer or? That was just a mistake on my part. I okay. think the ball, uh, you know, regardless of what happens, the ball's got to come out in that situation. And, um, you know, i got to make a better decision, make a better play. Matt, okay. you used the word resilient at the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, Julio today, obviously, was a classic case of being resilient. How impressive is that for a rookie to be able to be resilient? I think it's extremely impressive. Um, you know, when you look at, at, at the day and, you know, the two weeks he's had, he's, he's made some huge plays for us, and he's made some plays where I'm sure he would have liked to have done better. But... That's, you know, I think that's him maturing uh, and him, you know, understanding what the NFL is all about. There's going to be times where you don't make the plays that you want to make. And it's all about how you respond to those type of situations. And I thought, you know, he, he, he did a great job for us today. But that, I mean, I, it doesn't surprise me because that's been his deal the entire year. Right? I mean, he's worked really hard. He's been into it and uh, done everything you could ask from, from a rookie. What was the feel at halftime? Uh, I mean, certainly... A little bit uh, frustrated, I think. Uh, but Coach Smith, you know, he, he does a great job of staying even keeled, uh, telling us to, to take it one play at a time and uh, come out in the second half and, and uh, just do our job and concentrate on specific plays. And I thought we did a great job of that on both sides. You guys got the ball back about four and a half minutes left in one point lead. And it seems like that's the situation where one of those 10 play drives is really good. But did you see something in the defense that? That you saw maybe that big play would, would be there? Or? Yeah, we. I mean, we were in our no huddle quite a bit in the second half, and um, you know, it was something that we talked about when we got a look where we felt like we had a good matchup on the backside with Julio. And uh, it was the first time that we really had a, a clean look at it, and it was something that we had talked about for a while. And uh, we finally got that look and called the play, and um, Julio you know, did a great job.